Well, beginning tomorrow, the city of Topeka says they will be patching up potholes around the area. I heard from locals on how these fixes couldn't come any sooner. That's just one example of what Topeka drivers are dealing with in some areas following recent snow and bitter cold conditions. Well, we were driving north down Topeka Boulevard in the uh, right hand lane. I started to hit several potholes, looked in my mirror to see if I could change lanes and get away from them and had a vehicle next to me. And as I look back up, that's about the time I hit the big one. On Monday, Topeka's Public Works Director declared a temporary emergency for pothole patching. This past month, I've really experienced a lot of potholes. Uh, my tires, all four of my tires have uh, been out, I've act five actually. And yeah, I've spent almost over $1,000 on pothole damage and it's just been really bad. I'm really frustrated. The city says all street department staff, including members of the night crew, will be working overtime to make the changes throughout the week. Crews will begin patching emergency arterial and collector routes first, then move into residential areas. My latest one, I actually got, uh, it was my passenger tire. I actually got it fixed. I got it patched. But then literally the day after I got it patched, I ran over another pothole. It, it's frustrating to say the least. Uh, you know, I, I understand because of the weather, they happen. Uh, that just happened to be one. It really didn't look that big a pothole, but apparently it was deep enough that sunk down in enough to actually cause the rim damage. City officials were unable to speak with us on camera, but say they understand drivers' frustration and will do their best to make fixes as quickly as possible. It's all it's my hard work and money, honestly. I really wish the people in charge would just get a, a hand on the situation. It's very aggravating, and I'm tired of seeing people out here just patching them up and not actually just fixing the road in general. It'd be really, really appreciated. And during the winter months, the patches are expected to be temporary, but when the weather warms up, the city says crews will be able to make longer lasting repairs.